training camp will kick off and the St. Louis Blues will embark on yet another journey in the National Hockey League. Here tonight, we welcome home one of the greatest personalities and the greatest goal scorer in Blues history. You might notice a big stack of pucks sitting just here to my left. That's what 527 pucks look like. Now they look kind of calm there, but I'm sure they all 527 gave goalies nightmares that they haven't recovered from. Brett scored 527 of his career 741 goals as a St. Louis Blue. And remember, that's before he believed in the empty netter. We're here to announce what just might be the worst kept secret in Blues history. <laughs> but we are pleased and proud to announce that Brett Hall is coming home to the St. Louis Blues. Now, in his playing days, Brett generated excitement every time he stepped on the ice and pretty much every time he stepped up in front of a microphone as well. Uh, many would say that Brett built this arena and that he built much of our loyal fan base, all with his remarkable talent and his considerable charm. Yes. <laughs> now Brett is going to focus his talents on building the franchise in a, in a different way. He'll be working on our business side to generate revenue. And to Brett, welcome back to the St. Louis Blues. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm overwhelmed at uh, the turnout. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm glad to be back. Uh, great surprise. Two of my three kids are here, and you can tell how long it's been. Uh, when we left, they were not quite as uh, uh, old and, and as tall. So it's been a while, but it's, uh, it's great to have them here. Uh, they have grown up into uh, uh, wonderful young adults. Uh, first of all, to uh, Tom and Bruce and the whole ownership group of uh, what is finally now a full local ownership group that cares and uh, has a passion for uh, the St. Louis Blues like we all do. And it, it's great to have them uh, in charge of the team now, and I'm glad to be a part of it. I never wanted to leave 15 years ago, and I'm glad I'm back, I can tell you that. A little over a year when we started talking about that this might be a possibility, uh, I don't think it took more than a couple of sentences uh, to convince her that this was a wonderful place and a place that we're going to uh, call our, I guess, new home. Uh, and she is all on board and uh, hopefully a lot of you will get to know her and, and uh, see her passion. Uh, not only for what I'm doing, but the city of St. Louis and the St. Louis Blues and Tom and Bruce's vision for this team. I'm glad, like I said, the vision of Tom, uh, when I started to talk with him, his vision uh, of making the St. Louis Blues an elite organization, an organization a city can be a proud of, uh, not only of the great young players, but uh, of us as management, uh, and the product we have on and off the ice, uh, it didn't take me long to, to figure out that I wanted to be a part of that. And that is really when uh, we started to get serious with talks. And, and I'm really proud to be a part of Tom's vision to bring back, uh, to bring uh, Stanley Cup to the city of St. Louis and the great fans that we have here. Doug Armstrong and Ken Hitchcock as the cornerstones and this stable of young stud players that I've come to really admire and watch, enjoy watching play. The future is bright and the Stanley Cup is well within grasp. I know I'm going to hit the ground running uh, to get back and start building new relationships and some solidifying old ones. But before I can do that, Bruce has told me that I have to sell the last 16 suites in the building. So if any of you can help me do that, let me know. In closing, I just want to reiterate, I am so glad to be back. I'm proud to be a part of the Blue Note again, and let's go Blues. Yeah.